वेलकम टू सी एस सी एम ए एज यू वेल नो डैट द ओ एस आई मॉडल ओपन सिस्टम इंटर कनेक्शन इज द मॉडल दैट यूज टू फेसिलेट द कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ हार्डवेयर एट डिफरेंट कंफ्यूगर डिवाइस दैट्स द रीजन वाई वी कैन कम्युनिकेट बाई यूजिंग द सेल फोन स्मार्ट फोन टू द कंप्यूटर और द एनी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लाइक विंडो टू मैक मैक टू लाइन एक्स द all the regions behind these communications is the os os osi model and the os osi models layer data link layer use the techniques to control all the data flow from one system to another and all the different systems is controlled by the osi models layers and its operations so here we going to describe the flow control and what kinds of techniques is it used by the data link layer to control the data flow controlling into the different kinds of systems or in a medium there are two kinds of techniques used to control the data flow flow of data that is that are a stop and wait flow control and second one is a sliding window technique that used by the data link layer so let's start to describe more detailed descriptions about these techniques and know more about what is flow control flow control is a uh, ability or the flow control is the controlling about the flow of data from one system to another and another system to another system as you know that the internet is the network of networks where the millions or the billions of devices are connected and all de- devices are connected to communicate one another and when these devices are communicating then the data is flow from one system to another then the flow control is the major task task of the data link layer and it's the sole responsibility of the data link layer to control the data flow and errors and controls all the errors that occur in the system and the flow control provides the ability to tell the sender how much data is to be sent and makes the sender wait for an acknowledgement before sending another or the more data the flow controls there there, there are the two techniques you will tell we as you already know these techniques are stop and wait flow control and the second one is the sliding window technique so let's start with the first one stop and wait flow control in stop and wait flow control sender has to wait for an acknowledgement of of every frame that is sent in this figure here we say that the sender frame sends the frame 0 and after sending the frame 0 the sender wait to receive the acknowledgement that is sent by the receiver here acknowledgement for the frame 0 is here received by the receive sender then it sends the another frame that is the frame 1 to the sender and sender receive these frames without any error that is the error free frame then it sends the acknowledgement to the sender and it is the very simple because it checks it it used to check the every frames at once and then the frame is correct then the receiver sends the acknowledgement to the sender and it's uh, all the procedure is done by one by one so in this stop and wait flow control only one frame can be transmitted and the That's second one is the sliding window technique in sliding window technique as we already know that the in the error control free techniques there are the window maintained on the server and the receiver ends and the sliding window utilize the resources well because in the stop and wait technique the sender sends one frame and it wait for the acknowledge acknowledgement of that frame that took more time but in the sliding window technique it use it utilize the resources well and both the sender and the receiver maintain a window that takes the informations ab- about what kind of frame is sent and the what kind of frame is received and the what kind of acknowledgement of that frame if any acknowledgement in the frame is um, if any frame is lost then the frame has to be retransmitted by the send receiver then the correct frame is received by the receiver then it, it sends the positive acknowledgement to the sender sender 
and the sliding sliding window technique is much faster than the stock front weight AR cube because the sender sends the multiple frames at once and the receiver sends the multiple frames acknowledgement at once if it's error free and uh, this technique is quite faster than the stop and wait thank you thanks for watching